Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is for Libra season. Thank you so much for tuning in to this message. I hope it finds you very well in peace. Um, <clears throat> please leave a comment below if this video resonated with you and how it did resonate with you. Um, readings are available as well as my social media in the description box below. Um, the link to that my uh, website precisely is going to be linked down below um, please share like and subscribe to help the channel grow as well as um, allow the message to come up in the youtube algorithm so without delay capricorn let's get into your message so number one capricorn energy wherever you have it in your chart is square to libra so um, this is about things being made right and done in the right way. Saturn and Libra are pretty cool. <laughs> so um, this has to do with the fourth house, which has to do with nurturing, family roots, um, emotional healing, um, mothering or smothering. Uh, this may be a time for you to... Um, look at having a bit more personal time maybe taking a vacation um but um you may need to take a break from being around people um you may need some type of isolation to make you feel more comfortable with yourself or just taking time to be at home with your family instead of out in public and make sure you check on your parents um those who have taken care of you um, and you may also come into some revelations or secrets that you didn't know about, which I did kind of talk about in the appreciation reading as well for Capricorn. So you might want to go check that out if you haven't already. So let's get into your message. Um, Angel guys, what message do we have for Capricorn? Angel guys, what message do we have for Capricorn? You may need to take better care of your physical body, um, which again goes back to resting. Okay, yeah. The world is demanding a lot from you. You don't want to shy away from it, but you do want to um, make fair decisions for not only yourself, but those who you serve. So first card out, we have Venus, love very libra energy <laughs> um a second card out lunar eclipse change okay so you may be resisting change or um you need to take a look at why things have been changing lately so you could be more in balance um we have mercury retrograde yeah so you definitely want to use this retrograde coming up starting on the 27th through the 18th to reassess what you have Taurus. Okay, and at the bottom, same as Libra, Chiron healing. So um, you can have both of these placements in your chart um, as a planetary aspect. Okay, so yeah, definitely some healing going on. And this is the type of healing that um, has to do with how you see yourself. How are you seeing yourself right now? Okay, we got both of your cards. Are you seeing yourself as someone who's fertile, who's profitable, who's able to take care of things and keep order? Or do you see yourself as someone who is scared to um, release old habits, old ways of doing things, um, afraid of what other people may think or say in the world, um, afraid to take a risk and release yourself from things that's been holding you back from feeling like yourself? So you may need to nurture that part of you um, and it may not be everything in your life that makes you feel that way but it may be a certain area that's being zoomed in on during this sleep season that may need your attention <laughs> so let's see here. and it may very well have to do with your mother you may be afraid of saying things to your mother or you may be afraid to communicate how you truly feel to a mother figure or someone who has taken care of you or people who you take care of, um, there needs to be some type of conversation. So it has to start somewhere. All right, so let's look at this uh, Venus, the overall energy. It could
at least when you're in a relationship with um it doesn't have to be romantic yes libra moon so this new moon in libra um it's going to uh, highlight you needing to make a decision about love and relationships um nine of wands at the bottom that you may have been afraid to make a decision on um so you got the eight nine of wands with a star card and the ten of cups it's like are you you're ready to it's like you're ready to marry someone or you're ready to grow a relationship with someone in a way that makes both of you guys' dreams come true. And this person may be a dream come true to you. Um, but again, like, which are you trying to grow something or are you afraid of growing something? That's the decision you may have to make right here with those two Capricorn cards that we started out with. But it looks like you have a, a, the ability to make a, a decision about something that's actually going to make you very happy. And you got the Ten of Cups, so um, Ten is, you know, completion. Something that will make you feel emotionally complete because it was destined for you. Star card is something that's yours. Aquarius, unique, individually yours. So let's see what changes are lurking here. What changes need to come about or will come about? What changes? Ooh. You got the everything is fine. Ten of Swords. I think you may be overly anxious about the changes that will take place when you decide to make this decision. Like, are you afraid to be happy? Are you afraid that someone will try to destroy your happiness if you communicate with them how you truly feel? Um, stand in your power, too. Um, cause you, someone may be, or you could be finding out about a decision that was made to go forward in a direction. Um, you may have someone trying to, or this could just be you, honestly, how I'm seeing it now with this, um, Knight of Swords and Queen of Swords. It's like you letting people or somebody know exactly how you stand, where you stand, and how you feel about a situation. You're just deciding to just move on. And um, this card talks about being in a rush to go somewhere. But the Queen of Swords is here too. So you're going, the situation is going from needing a conversation to the conversation and decision already had. <laughs> Like, and then you, this person, it could be a sibling or it could involve children, but there's some sort of communication. Like, the worst part of it will be over with. You just need to get through that change of overthinking, like, what the possibilities of something happening are. You just need to allow yourself to feel and allow yourself to find your own way of getting through your own fears about making major decisions especially when it comes to things that you love value and appreciate allow yourself to because you went from two to ten which means it's the eight of swords in the middle of this so you feel like there's some type of karmic retribution that you don't want to have if you choose to make this change but are you actually happy with where you are now like if you made the decision to change whatever it is the situation is and it may have to do with money but what if you choose to make this change if it has the possible if it has the actual with the star card it has the absolute ability to make you feel more like yourself and bring you complete emotional fulfillment why wouldn't you do it like what are you more worried about being happy or someone else not being happy 
Like, do you want to be happy or do you want someone else to be happy and you're not happy? Like, makes no sense. So, um, when you decide, yes, there may be a lot of conversations about this change. Yes, there might be things that are out of your control that people say, but you don't have to, that's not your problem. That's their business. If people want to gossip and communicate about what you do in your relationships, they don't have nothing to do with you. Mind your business, okay? Nobody knows that better than Capricorn. So, um, what can we get from this Mercury retrograde for Capricorn? We got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this Mercury retrograde is going to give you an opportunity to go back and fix some things with people. Um, definitely maybe family related. Um, this is the father, husband. Um, um, I want to say emotionally secure, maybe. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> but it's going to give you a chance to go back and fix things and heal things with could be children and family but um when it comes to money you may have an opportunity to give somebody something that they could hold on to for a long time and it will definitely be something good a good news for that person it will definitely change their reality and how they see and view things because they might be holding on to a certain way that they see or view you but because you are in a better place, you're in a happier place, you are in a more elevated awareness of what life can be, it allows you to share what you have with someone else. This is a very fortunate time for you. Um, don't go bankrupt. <laughs> but if you have the ability, Capricorn, to share your happiness, or share in your happiness with somebody, you should definitely do it. And somebody could be sharing something with you that makes you, like, super <laughs> fucking happy. Like, somebody kept their word on something. Let me get one more for this Wheel of Fortune. Mercury, that's right. Yeah, and the Queen of Swords. Like, you're, you have made a very fortunate decision doing this Mercury retrograde in Libra. There's been a great distance between you and something that you want, but the gap is closing during this retrograde season because you get to reinvent how you choose to move forward. Yeah, you get you getting. Yeah, definitely vacation vibes. Like, yeah, somebody's gonna share something with you during this retrograde. That's going to release you from whatever fears you had. And it's going to... Look, so this one person is sitting here. And then I told you this was eight of swords between this two and this ten, right? So you right here in the middle of trying to figure out something. And you're, you're holding yourself back when you can get out. You're holding yourself back. and you But it's in the same time you holding yourself back, you're also releasing um, emotions. Okay? I want to say this is like peeing on yourself. Like you feel embarrassed. You feel embarrassed that you've held yourself back from something that you wanted. Again, do you want to be happy or would you rather everybody else be happy and you're not? So you are in this fear that you can't let go of something. But then you turn around and you both release whatever this attachment that you have to society or it could just be a contract you made a bad deal or a bad decision with somebody and now you're choosing to you know change it around because you're going from cancer to capricorn you may be very distant emotionally closed off and it kept both of you in a fear mindset but now you're moving into a more abundant mindset so soulmate connection you know, y'all have been through a lot of things together, but now you're able to assess. Like, okay, I also see this as, you know, you have been through a lot with somebody and you get through the rough patch of your relationship, regardless of what type of relationship it is. And the hardest, scariest part is over and now you guys can actually communicate, be more um, amicable, be more friendly, be more you know, kind to each other 
and I was thinking like you taking a vacation or y'all going somewhere but um in the end you end up still by yourself like that four of swords was you needing to get away from this like in between you let four of swords go you let four of swords go here you took a break from i could also yeah you took a break from working so much and you decided to take care of yourself meditation vacation card okay and you got the bridging togetherness to balance okay so let's look at this last card towards i have So in the end, the end result, Capricorn, I would say Taurus, um, I have, what do you, okay, so this came up inverted, but we have the eight of pentacles, another eight. So what you, you will still have your job. You'll still have your work. You'll still have something to concentrate on um, if you choose to. You know, if you're called to take a break and go do something that breaks the routine so that you can have more of a healing moment to yourself, you're at the end of the day, you still gonna have something to work on or the situation or the relationship or the art project or whatever you're working on. It's still going to require you to work. It's still going to call you to come look at the fine details. But when it comes to this retrograde, this is an opportunity for you to turn back the hands of time a little bit just a little bit you know you rule time right you just turn back the time and go back and make all the decisions that you were supposed to make because everything that changed you don't agree with there's a disagreement with how things have been moving forward and it's like no 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 i was like okay retrograde is here to say okay this is your time this is your wake-up call this is your wake-up call, Capricorn. Go back and redo these relationships, redo these projects, redo these contracts, redo these agreements, and make sure they are equal. Give and take, head over heart decisions, so that you can get back to work. Get back to the work that you have waiting for you. And it'll help you heal, number one, because you have to use your throat chakra and speak up and let people know how you're moving forward right now okay Capricorn yeah it's time for you to drop the burden that she was holding on to and take more control and have more authority in your life because people are getting away with doing stuff that is inappropriate okay and if that means cutting people off as well then do so but there's definitely um, some relationships that are being called for you to take a look at to see if are they healthy for you, are they nurturing you, are they giving you the same energy you're giving back. If they if they not, deal with it, face the music. And they might think it's unfair, and that's okay if they do. Again, that's not your business. All right, Capricorn, that's your message for this Libra season. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next week. Trying to find the significance of what you mean. Break it through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just want to hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time reminds me.